Hello, the purpose of this video is a tutorial on how to start a performance troubleshooting using DBA Cockpit, AWR and ASH reports. The AWR is based on snapshots taken in a configurable interval. Please check note 853576 for more details. To generate a report, you need to select the initial and final snapshots. Here you can select the initial one. This lists all the snapshots available. Make sure you don't use an interval longer than 5 snapshots, otherwise the report will become too comprehensive and will not show any details. Then select the final snapshot, clear the other fields that are not being used this time, and generate the report. The report has a lot of information, but here I'll focus on the first things that we need to check. A very good indicative that there is no database performance issue is when you see the DB time in this area very below the lapsed time, or real time. This actually compares the DB processing time versus the actual time. When there is a database performance issue, you will very likely see the DB time way over the lapsed time. Here you will see the same instance efficiency indicators that we saw in DBA Cockpit's performance overview, but here they are just relevant for the time frame of the report. Another very relevant area of the report is the foreground events, which are the same from the system event in DBA Cockpit, but again just for the period of the report. That's one of the reasons why it is very important to keep it in shorter intervals. The actions here are pretty much the same. Grab the relevant weight events and look for nodes. I will reinforce the importance of node 619188 here. This area of percent DB time is very important. It will not make much sense to try to tune something that is responsible for less than 1% of the DB time, for example. You should always focus on the bigger one. The average weight is very important also. You may have DB file sequential read with very high percentage of DB time and very low average weight without many performance issue. We usually recommend to keep this event below 15 milliseconds.